American. Oh no! Gunmen killed two policemen, women in Anambra during court clash, abduct one. Oh no! Gunmen killed two policemen, women in Anambra during court clash, abduct one. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, I greet you and stay tuned as I read today's news. The victims, including two police officers and an unidentified woman, were killed on Tuesday by the gunmen suspected to be Scottish. As many as three persons have been killed in a court-related clash in Oka, the Anambra state capital, the victims, including two police officers and an unidentified woman, were killed on Tuesday by the gunmen suspected to be Scottish. Also, the assailant were said to have abducted another person during the operation. In a report by Daily Post, the gunmen were said to have blocked a red Toyota Corolla, a red Toyota Corolla car, being driven by a man identified as Snoop, who was also the leader of tricycle riders in the Oka North and Oka South local government area of the state. A source noted that the two policemen from the state anti court department accompanied Snoop. The police officers were killed while a woman who was passing by was hit by a stray bullet. Snoop himself was dragged out of his car and put him in the trunk of the car driving by the assailant. While rifles belonging to the policemen were made away with, this, they were made away with, the source said. Anambra has had its fair share of violence and killings, ravaging the southeast region. Sahara reporters had on November 29 reported that two policemen were killed in Asia community in the Iala local government area by same hoodlums. Ikega Tochuku, Anambra Police Command spokesperson, had said the slain officers were traveling with their colleagues when they were ambushed by the gunmen. He said the bodies of the slain officers were burnt by the gunmen, while one officer was still missing. According to him, other officers were able to fight their way out of the ambush and rescue two civilian drivers traveling with them. The victims include two police officers and an unidentified woman were killed on Tuesday by the gunmen suspected to be a courtist. As many as 30 persons have been killed in a court-related clash in Oka, the Arab state capital, the victims including two police officers and an unidentified woman were killed on Tuesday by the gunmen suspected to be a courtist. Also, the assailants were said to have abducted another person during the operation. In a report by Daily Post, the gunmen were said to have blocked a red Toyota Corolla car being driven by a man identified as Snoop, who was also the leader of tricycle riders in the Oka North and Oka South local government area of the South. A source noted that the two policemen from the state anti court department accompanied Snoop. The police officers were killed while a woman who was passing by was hit by a stray bullet. Snoop himself was dragged out of his car and put in the trunk of the car driven by the assailant, while rifles belonging to the policemen were made away with, the source said. Anambra has had its fair share of violence and killings ravaging the southeast region. Sahara reporters had on November 29 reported that two policemen were killed in Asia community in the Iyala local government area by same hoodlums. Ikenga Tochuku, Anambra police command spokesperson, had said the slain officers were traveling with their colleagues when they were ambushed by the gunmen. He said the bodies of the slain officers were burnt by the gunmen while one officer was still missing. According to him, 
Other officers were able to fight their way out to the ambush and rescue two civilian drivers traveling with them. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, um, in my own view, I feel I feel we don't have um, competent security agencies again. Because when um it is said here that even um the assailants who came made away with police weapons and now they said the police officers were killed while a woman was passing by was eaten by a stray bullet and they said here that um daiki gatochuku and abra police command spokesperson had said the slain officers were traveling with their colleagues when they were ambushed by the gunmen from that side are we saying they are not uh, can we all see that they are not competent enough they could not save a life of any but now it is not been put here that they saved two civilian drivers why can't they save the two policemen that were killed and even be burnt is it not in their presence that the policemen that were burnt were, were, were put fire on Nigeria only only God can save this country because I don't know I don't know I don't know what to say again but now courtists were fighting and Nigerian police could not even apprehend any they could not even drop just even one of those people they could not even don't drop any of them down this is too bad for us to say they are not competent enough people who are traveling what are they expecting just cow to come and attack them it is uncalled for. It is really uncalled for. They should expect something more, something more, and something much than that. So I expect whenever they are traveling, and if they should attach any police officers, they should attach those that are gallant and who will be ready for anything. Ordinary courtist is killing police officers, not even an armed robber. Ordinary courtist has the power. They have sophisticated weapon to face the to face the Nigerian police. That's too bad, and it is it is a slap on the Nigerian police face. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about today's news. Thank you.